Hello, my name is Jimmy Vegas and welcome to this, the ninth in a series of video tutorials on how to create Minecraft in Unity 5. So last episode, if you remember, we put together um, our kind of little GUI menu. Uh, we have the screen inventory uh, active, if you remember that tick there, and we had the main inventory inactive, which is like that. So this episode, what we're going to be looking at is when we press the escape key or any other key for that matter, which you want to press to bring up your menu, it will bring it up. And then when we press that key again, it disappears. So that will be mainly done via scripting. Firstly, before we get into it, if you go to edit, go to project settings and then go to input, you should see axis just here. If you click the arrow, you'll see size 18 and it's got all of these right here. Now all this means is that it's kind of um, preset how your input buttons work. So if you press, um, for example, let's go to fire one, if you press your left mouse button down here or left control, then it's part of fire one. If we go to cancel, it means escape. And that will be the one we're using now for um, our menu script. So as long as you remember that cancel is what we need. So if we go to scripts, start off and right click and let's create JavaScript. And I'm going to call this simply menu um, script. And let's go into it. And as always with me, it opens up in Mono Develop. You may have Visual Studio, uh, makes no difference. Uh, we still be writing the same script, still works the exact same. Okay, so once we're loaded, as always, what I do, delete everything it gives you preset. We'll be writing this script from scratch. It's not too complicated, this script, but it's oh, you have to get your head around um, a couple of nested ifs. It's not too difficult. So what we're going to do is we need to set two variables. The first variable is going to be a game object, which is the inventory itself. So var, uh, let's simply call this oops, inventory object. And that needs to be set as a game object and then semicolon at the end. The second variable is going to be determining um, whether the menu is on or off and we can do that via an integer which is probably the easiest way of doing it either one or zero. So var let's call this inv stats and that'll be an integer as I said. So this whole script should only have one function, uh, which is the common update, because we need it to kind of run all the time. So it needs to be aware of when we're pressing the escape key. So function, update, open close bracket, open curly bracket. And then within this, we need to set two if statements. The first needs to be if we're pressing the cancel button. So if, and it needs to be input dot uh, get button down and oops, it's autofill there. I hate autofill. So remember that it is capitalized there on the input and get button down. Um, we need to now put in what we saw earlier in our input settings in the Unity console which was cancel for our escape key. So just quickly recap on this, um, project settings and input. If you wanted, for example, to press the enter key, to bring up your menu, you would type the word submit in your script here instead of cancel. If you wanted to set up a brand new um, access, on, uh, sorry, a, a, a new input on there, you could, for example, put 19, down the bottom, you could change this to, let's say, temp. And then you'll put your positive button as, let's say, 
I don't know, P. So when if you put the word temp here instead of cancel, every time you press P, it'll bring up your menu or take your menu away. So I'm going to change that back to 18 because I'm going to keep mine as escape. So cancel and then two close brackets and then open curly bracket. So the next if statement that we need to do is we need to check if our inventory is already open. So if inv stats is equal, and that's a double equal sign there, to zero, then perform the following actions. So we're saying if it isn't on screen, then we need to do the following. We need to set our inv stats to one. So as this particular if statement doesn't run again. And the next line, we need to um, set our inventory as being visible. And we can do this by going, by typing, I should say, inventory object dot set active open bracket true close bracket, semicolon. So what we're doing there is basically saying, if it's not on screen, put it on screen and change the variable. And then we can close curly bracket for that. And if we go down a touch and uh, close the entire function off and save it, hopefully we shouldn't get any errors in our console. Nope, we have. I think I put something wrong there. Quickly check. So yeah, we actually need um, three. There. Sorry, that's my fault. So let's create a bit of space there because we'll use a, a bit more code here in a second. So let's save that. Hopefully, this error will disappear. And it does. So go to game object. Oh, when it's think, thought about it. Create empty. Right click, rename. Let's simply call this um, inventory. I keep typing inventory. Inventory manager. And then that script that we just wrote, which is there, menu script, stick it on inventory manager. Over here, you'll notice we have inventory object is non game object and in stats is equal to zero. What we need to do now is this invisible inventory, which we've disabled, we need to drag and drop this item onto this just here. Real simple. There. So now if we go into our game, our menu should be on screen. However, if we now press escape, our inventory should appear. However, we want to press escape again and have our inventory disappear. Well, you can use the same sort of basis of what was what we've written so far, but rather than write a brand new if statement, we can kind of, well, not really cheat, but we can use the else. So if you type else, open curly bracket, and then we need to kind of repeat what we've done, but in reverse. So we need to type inventory object dot set active and in brackets you type false and then semicolon and then we need to set the inv stats back to zero so inv stats is equal to zero semicolon and then finally to close off the else it's close curly bracket so let's tidy that up a touch there we go and save so just to quickly recap this script, all we're doing is we are checking every frame whether we're pressing the cancel button. And if we are, we then need to check if the menu or inventory is on screen or not. So if it isn't, we set it on. If it already is on screen by going to else, then we turn it off and change our number on our instat back to zero. So now when we press play, that script that we've written is called every frame, which may seem like a lot, 
but it isn't really. So we can press escape and our menu appears. Press escape again, the menu disappears. On, off, on, off, on, off, on, off. It is really that simple. So now we have that set up and we have, um, if I press play again, and we have um, the image in our first oh. slot active. What we're going to be looking at now is getting rid of all this up here where we've got dirt blocks, grass blocks, dirt and grass blocks. These settings here are eventually going to come over into our inventory over here. We'll also be looking at dragging and dropping items here into our on-screen inventory. So as we don't always keep having to go into this, like in the proper Minecraft game. So next episode, we're going to be looking at building up our inventory a bit more and making it a little bit more useful. And eventually, if you remember, we can go to um, blocks and just one click and they end up being mined. We'll start looking at making um, kind of an animation for our arm. So as it kind of animates a bit and actually makes it look like it is mining something before the block disappears. So yeah, that is, uh, we'll leave the episode there for now. It's not been uh, a long one, it's not a short one. Um, if you're having problems with that script, if it doesn't seem to be working properly for whatever reason, uh, head to our website. The link is in the description of the video. Uh, you can download the script on there and stick it straight in. To be honest, you shouldn't have too many problems writing this script. Sometimes it can be a little bit difficult getting your head around nested if functions, meaning uh, putting an if uh, statement in another if statement and then an else statement. Some people do find logic gates a little bit confusing, but you could use that, like I say, in any way you want. Just to quickly prove about the um, button pressing, let's put submit there. Save. Press play. And now I shall be able to press the enter or return key, which will bring up the menu, which it does. So I'm going to keep that as cancel. And save. So as I say, this is available on our website. If you head on over there, you can download it. Um, so yeah, that's the end of this tutorial. Um, keep building your world. Keep playing with your menu. Get it looking exactly how you want it. It's entirely up to you. Uh, check out my other tutorials. There's tons and tons of other reference material um, on the channel now. There's loads that you can learn from it. So um, until the next episode, thank you very much for watching.